Okay, so our subject, good evening. Uh, our subject this evening is about understanding the self. Uh, ito po yung isa sa mga bago na subject ng uh, bagong curriculum because we are now under the new curriculum of the Bachelor of Secondary Education major in English. Okay, so this is a... Uh, uh, Okay, so again, uh, salamat sa Lord at nagkita-kita mo ulit tayo. Okay, so if you have any question, you may uh, ask question. Okay, you can ask any question. Now, um, okay, okay, so... Shall we pray? Heavenly Father, we are, uh, we are acknowledging your presence this evening. We are here in front of you to uh, seek your guidance and help in order to comprehend everything that we are going to hear this evening. Bless us, bless all our sisters and brothers who are attending this class this evening. Thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So again, our... Uh, Subject is understanding the self. Uh, this will be the content of our um, subject for the whole semester. Uh, we have three uh, Roman numerals. First is we have the, uh, the self from various perspective. Under this is we have the self from various philosophical perspective the self the society and the culture and then third the anthropological perspective of the self fourth the self as cognitive construct fifth the self in western and eastern thought secondly under roman roman numeral number two is Unpacking the self. Under this, we have the physical self, the sexual self, the material, the economical or the economic self, the spiritual self, the political self, and the last is the digital self. And then the uh, third Roman numeral, the managing and caring for the self. Under this, we have learning to be a better learn, setting goals for success, and the last is taking charge of one's health. So maybe we will be putting this. So I will ask Ross to put this in uh, Classroom Google, maybe, so that you can browse, so that you can open any time, so that you can browse and you can review. So again, our subject is understanding the self. It's very important for you and I. Well, maybe you're asking. You know, the problem with us is this. We keep on thinking of material wealth. We keep on thinking about uh, our surroundings. But we forget ourselves. We forget about God. We forget the most important thing in life. Okay? So again, uh, again, this is the topic that we are going to tackle for the whole um, semester. Um, okay. Again, um, Now, under this, the self from the various philosophical perspective. So we have to check the self from the various political perspective. Now, please, I'm just uh, uh, reading first, and then if you want to ask question, you may ask. Okay? You may ask question, please. 
Okay. Um, under this is the self from the various philosophical perspective. When we say philosophical perspective, we are talking about the idea, the words of other philosophers. Okay. Um, what is philosophy? Philosophy is the study of the fundamental nature of knowledge and existence, especially in an academic discipline. Okay, academic discipline. Secondly, what is philosophy? A particular theory that someone has about how to live and how to deal with a particular situation. You know, that's why uh, Madam Pearl a while ago said that uh, one of uh, artists in Korea commit suicide. Why? Could you imagine? They are at the height of their uh, of their uh, career and well known not only in Korea but throughout the world. And yet they commit suicide. That's why I come again a particular theory that someone has about how to live or how to deal with a particular situation. Or third, meaning of philosophy and academic discipline concerned with investigating the nature of significance of ordinary and scientific beliefs. Fourth, investigates the legitimacy of concepts by rational argument concerning their implications, relationships as well as reality, knowledge, moral judgment, and others. This is the meaning or definition of philosophy. Now, much of philosophy concerns with the fundamental nature of self. Come again, come again. Much of philosophy concerns with the fundamental nature of self. Now, maybe you, maybe, you know the problem sometimes is the problem sometimes uh, we are uh, we are really you know if you, especially before uh, we we are fond of studying nature we are fond of studying our surroundings we are fond of studying science when i say science i'm talking about the uh, creation that made by the lord himself and yet and yet we forget to study about ourselves. We forget to talk about ourselves. We don't uh, enhance. We are not enhancing our skills, our knowledge. Well, praise God. God has given us the opportunity to learn more through this uh, course. Okay? Now, the Greeks... When you say the Greeks, because majority, especially in the early days, there are many philosophers during the day. The Greeks were the ones who seriously question myths and move away from them to understand reality and respond to perennial questions of curiosity including the question of the self. The following are discussions of different perspectives and understandings of the self according to its prime movers. So from philosophers of the ancient times to the contemporary period we're talking about today. Okay? We have the uh, pre-Socratics, 
the pre-Socratics, we have Thales, Pythagoras, Parmedides, Heraclitus, Empedocles, and others were concerned with answering questions such as, what is the world really made up of? Why is the world the way it is? What explains the changes that happen around us? So we have to question this. We have to question the world where we are living. We have to question why we are here. We have to ask a basic questions. Okay. The uh, Greek word arche means origin or source. Slash the soul, the primal matter. The soul's movement is the ultimate <clears throat> arche of all other movement. Arche has no origin outside itself and cannot be destroyed. Explains the multiplicity of things in the world. Now, do you agree that there is a difference between the body and the soul? Later on, we will. I will ask you and I want you to give your idea. Do you agree that there is a difference between the body and the soul? Do you think you have both? What is the difference between the two? Now, may I know your idea about this? Well, actually, our belief is not, not uh, dual, but tripartite being. What's the difference between a between a uh, dual and tripartite dual or two we have the body and we have the soul when we say tripartite being we have the body we have the soul and we have the spirit i believe you agree now uh, my question is this my question is this do you believe that there's a difference between your body my body and our soul. May I, may I hear something from you, please? Is there any difference? May I hear from you, please? Any uh, word from you, please? Please, sir. Good evening. Sir. Ay, sir Bert, magandang gabi. Oh. At, uh, sir Bert, magandang gabi, sir Bert. You have any idea, sir Bert? Ito ako, nagbuhan pa. Nagdadaging pa ako eh. May kuta kasi <laughs> kami na... <laughs> Uh, yes, sir. Uh, uh, the difference between body and soul. Yeah. Uh, no. The body. Yeah, go ahead, sir. Go ahead, sir, uh, Bert. According to the Bible. Yeah. 80 for those strong. Uh huh. And the soul is infinite. It means to be healthy. Uh huh. So that's the difference between the body and soul. So, ng katawa ng tao, uh, hanggang 80 years lang. Minsan, uh -huh. kaabot ng 100 years old, yung, 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 yung body, yung strong. body. Uh -huh. so, yung kaluluwa ng tao po, okay. Yung kaluluwa ng tao po, hindi po namamatay. So, okay. everlasting po. That's everlasting, okay. So, that is eternal. Okay. The body is not eternal, okay. Uh, how about the others, please? May I have your idea, please? Somebody will give your idea about this question. Do you agree that yes. there is a difference yes. between our body and our soul? Yes, sir. Go ahead, ma'am, ma'am Pearl. Yes, yes ma'am. Go ahead, ma'am ma Pearl. Go ahead. Your idea, please. Because body is a physical that can smell, touch, feel, and taste. But the uh, soul is spiritual, sir. Okay. Okay. How about the others? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, yeah. Yes, no, it's almost the same that uh, our body is a physical living in this uh, in this world, physical world. And yeah. then the soul, uh, like uh, somebody said that uh, it's a uh, it's an everlasting. So we I, I don't know. I have no knowledge about Bible, but maybe soul can be after life, after physical life. Yeah, yeah. The Thank good, you. Okay, the good thing is this. The, this is the good thing. Actually, we are not talking the Bible. We are just talking uh, plainly about our body, our soul, 
ourselves. Okay? Uh, so, you can answer anything under the sun. Okay. <laughs> Actually, we are not talking about faith. We're not talking about religion. We're not talking about... Uh, okay. Uh, okay. So... So, please, please. Uh, you can... Uh, somebody, okay, go ahead, go ahead. How about the others? Yes, Doc. Good evening. Sir Lim, good evening, sir. Good evening at good evening sa lahat. So, there is a big difference about body and soul. Because the body is only the earthly things. Okay. Yes, sir. Go ahead, so, sir. Uh, only our body uh, stay here in earth, sir. So, whereas the soul... Uh, is everlasting. So, hindi na mamatay yung soul. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's the big difference between the soul and the body. That's all, sir. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you, yes, sir. About the others, do you have any idea, please? Uh, don't worry because we are just uh, asking this question. Now, uh, maybe... Uh, Maybe in um, what's this? Um, uh, we will be out of air, but uh, maybe I will ask uh, James to open it because the problem is I uh, I'm recording this uh, subject. Okay. Okay. So. More uh, idea about you, about this? Well, uh, actually, the sense of the five senses belongs to the soul. Five senses belongs to the soul. When the soul, when the soul uh, came out from the body, the body will die. Okay, the body will die and there is no more feelings. Because the because that feelings the the five senses belongs to the soul, okay. So the most important thing now is um, uh, we uh, we understand that that there is really a difference between these two, okay. According to Socrates, one of I believe we know it very well who is Socrates. Socrates said, concerned with the problem of the self. Concerned with the problem of the self. Secondly, the true task of the philosopher is to know oneself. Third, the unexamined life is not worth living. Could you imagine? It's not worth living. So we have to examine our life. Fourth, underwent a trial for corrupting the minds of the youth. So be careful with that. Fifth, succeeded, made people think about who they are. So according to Socrates, the worst thing that can happen to anyone is to live but die inside. Every person is dualistic according to Socrates. Uh, again, uh, we are talking about only the idea of Socrates. Okay? So, could you imagine we are alive but dead inside? Okay? Um, according to Socrates, again, we are talking about the idea of the philosopher. Man is a combination of body and soul. An individual is imperfect, permanent body, plus perfect and permanent soul. That is an individual, that's a man. So I think the same thing with the man. Now, when we talk about Plato, this is the idea of Plato. Three components to the soul. First is the rational soul. When you say rational soul, is 
reason and intellect to govern affairs. The spirited soul, emotions should be kept at bay. And the third, according to Plato, is appetitive soul, base desires. We have the food, the drink, the sleep, the sexual needs, and others. Okay? So, uh, again, again. Next, when these are attained, the human person's soul becomes just and virtuous. Okay? When these are attained, the human person's soul becomes just and virtuous. Come again. What happens to a person whose three components of the soul are in balance? Okay? Well, again, again. In our lives, don't forget this. In our lives, we have the so-called spiritual life, we have the social life, psychological life, the physical life, uh, social life, and others. Make sure that you are not attending only to your work. <laughs> you are, okay. okay. Why? Why? Because... Um, because if we have millions in the bank, well, well uh, okay, okay. I hope you uh, you got try to understand this because we have only three minutes, and then we will be cut on air, and then we will uh, go back again. Uh, but maybe we, I'm record I'm recording, but maybe maybe uh, uh, James will uh, uh, become the ad, uh, admin. Oh, uh, check this, check this, okay? Check this, okay? Um, check this. Um, James, after this, when we are out, out of air, take my USB and put it there in your uh, uh, laptop or uh, computer. Now, check this. Copy that, Doc. Okay. Are you sure that your life is... Is balance or unbalance or imbalance? Okay. Uh, meaning. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, check this. Check this. Uh, there, because there are many teachings that, that we have to understand. What are those teachings? The problem sometimes is we are focusing only to our work. We have no time also to our children. We have no time also to our uh, to our uh, spouses. That is imbalance. If there is imbalance, there is the, the result is unhealthy. Whether unhealthy relationship, unhealthy body, everything. So the focus in understanding the self is we have to check ourselves. We have to, you know, according to one author, and I forget, you know, I think uh, the one who uh, discovered the, the world, he said, it is, it is easier to discover the world than discovering ourselves. Come again. It is easier to discover the world than to discover ourselves. What do you think? What do you think? Again, um, uh, again, uh, in less than a minute, we will be out of air, and then, uh, and then, okay. So again, um, 
I hope that uh, this uh, subject we got uh, important lessons to live on, important uh, topics 